Okay. So this case is regarding an old follow-up patient of diabetes mellitus who came back with a report from the ophthalmologist with a diagnosis. The diagnosis was mild NPDR without macular edema. My question is, when should you advise your patient to go for the next checkup? So before we uh, read the options, I would like to explain you this question because uh, when diabetes ka koi patient hamare OPD mein aata hai, then a first question arises, should we go for the eye checkup of this patient? So the baseline is at the first visit of the diabetic patient to your OPD, every patient must go into at least the routine eye checkup. Then next question comes whether the patient is coming with the symptoms or not. If the patient is having no symptoms, then my uh, next uh, line of management goes, what is the duration of diabetes of this patient? So 90 to 95% uh, of the time, a uh, duration of diabetes need to be minimum of five years for the progression of diabetic retinopathy. So it is very rare if the patient is having diabetes since two, three years and he's landing up into diabetic retinopathy. So if the patient is an old chronic case, more than five years of duration, even if the patient is not having the symptoms, I would advise a regular eye checkup uh, along with the dilated fundoscopy and retinoscopy to uh, check the status of his retina. Then the next question comes, what if the patient is having the symptoms? If the patient is having the symptoms, I would still advise him to go to the ophthalmologist, get his eye tested, again go for retinoscopy. And who gives this diagnosis as mild NPDR or moderate NPDR or uh, the PDR, proliferative diabetic retinopathy? These are not, we don't have to diagnose the patient. So this diagnostic report is being given by the ophthalmologist. Now, once the patient is diagnosed uh, as NPDR or PDR, then the uh, next level comes the line of management of the patient. So management is my case scenario three. Now we are looking into the screening part. So even if straight away, uh, one XYZ person is coming to you, he's a chronic diabetic, he's directly bringing you this ophthalmology report of uh, mild NPDR without macular edema. Now, how to decide, uh, depending on the diagnosis, uh, what to, how to like uh, screen the patient? Like even if the patient is symptomatic or asymptomatic, when will be his next screening? First of all, I would like to highlight that when you decide ki whether to call the patient for checkup after 6 to 12 months or say 3 to 6 months, in this gap, you have to uh, put the patient into intensive glycemic control, uh, check for his blood pressure, check for his lipid levels, control his blood pressure, control his uh, lipid levels, and look for any aggravating uh, other aggravating factors. So uh, diabetic retinopathy, as we are seeing, if the patient is having the report of no diabetic retinopathy, you will straight away call the patient after one, two years and then uh, send him for regular eye checkup. If the patient is coming to you with this report of mild NPDR or moderate or severe or very severe NPDR, then what would be your advice to the patient? So any guesses is okay, even if it is wrong, you can just pour your answers in the chat box. Dr. Dilip has uh, given the option of C. Okay. Dr. Harsh has written A, option A, that is six to 12 months. Dr. Okay. Ramya has given option B. Dr. Mm -hmm. Priyanka has given three months. Dr. Bhargavi has given D, that is one month. Dr. Shubham has given option D, one month. And Rizwan also has given uh, option D. Dr. Achal has given option C. Dr. Chandra has given option C. Okay, wait, so all options are being uh, covered. Again, we have option, yeah, everything is being covered. But mostly I think it was B and C. Okay, let, let them uh, give the answers. Uh, I'll just wait for another two minutes. And doctor, before uh, we did have one 
क्वेरी रिगार्डिंग द माइल्ड एंड सिवियर एनपीटीआर इफ यू कैन टॉक लिटिल बिट मोर अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर so after we complete this uh, answer we can again just repeat severe and very severe okay definitely i'll repeat uh, let us just complete this um, screening part absolutely doctor so we again have option a from dr Sh uh, sharda and dr mohammed uh doctor we can uh, i think we can start with the explanation okay so the correct answer here is uh, option a 6 to 12 months as i was explaining the screening of a diabetic patient uh, regardless of whether he is having symptoms or no symptoms if he straight away comes to you with the ophthalmology report then how you will screen that patient depends on what condition he has been diagnosed with as i was explaining if the patient comes with the ophthalmology report of no diabetic retinopathy you will straight away call the patient for next eye screening one or two years later if the patient say for example this case scenario 2 is coming with a mild npdr without macular edema you will call the screen uh, the patient after 6 to 12 months next if the patient is having moderate npdr you will call the patient 3 to 6 months later if the patient is diagnosed with severe npdr then you will call the patient in less than 3 months like next 2 to 3 months you will uh, make the patient undergo uh, eye checkup to check the condition of the retina next comes the very severe npdr in which you will call the patient again in a, a period of 2 to 3 months if the patient has been diagnosed as proliferative diabetic retinopathy then you would like to call the patient for next eye screening in less than 1 month like he has to go for uh, his retinoscopy every month so this is like uh depending on how severe is your diabetic retinopathy the duration uh should be less uh for the screening of his next eye checkup am i clear by this screening part any doubts or any question regarding the screening part please write it on the chat box we'll be taking the answers from there okay i think we are good to go doctor okay nice so uh, what was the question kis kisne pucha uh, tha chat yes doctor one minute we had question by doctor richa can you repeat severe and very severe okay so severe and very severe are the two types of non proliferative diabetic retinopathy what what is common between two is uh in severe non proliferative diabetic retinopathy any one of the three features will be present i will be highlighting on these three features okay so these three features are first is microaneurysm and intra retinal hemorrhages in all the four quadrants second is venous bleeding in say two or more quadrants and third is intra retinal microvascular abnormalities to simplify this when a diabetic retinopathy progresses the first and the most initial state are the microaneurysm then they progress to the intra retinal hemorrhages i hope this much is clear in moderate npdr uh, venous bleeding or intra retinal microvascular abnormalities are encountered so 
in severe npdr as i was uh, saying any one of the three features are present the difference between severe and very severe is in severe any one of the three features are present and in very severe any two of the features are present so now that the disease has been progressed to severe and very severe the patient will have venous bleeding along with the aneurysms and the hemorrhages so these three features are i repeat again micro aneurysms and intraretinal hemorrhages in all the four quadrants second venous bleeding in two or more quadrants and third moderate intraretinal micro aneurysms so we say severe when only one feature we say very severe when two or even more features are present so i hope i was clear in explaining the difference between the severe and dr richa has said that yes she is much clearer now with the concept of severe and much severe so before we move forward we have one more question by dr harsh difference between pdr and nptr okay we say non proliferative diabetic retinopathy because there is no proliferation of the new vessels on the optic disc of the eye so neovascularization is uh, meaning thereby development of new vessels on the optic disc this is a characteristic feature of proliferative diabetic retinopathy so the main difference between non proliferative and proliferative diabetic retinopathy is this neovascularization so this new vessels can be present elsewhere on the retina or it may be present on the retinal vessels so i hope i was clear in explaining uh, the non proliferative and the basic uh, difference between the proliferative uh, one more uh, question you can see yes doctor dr hitesh would like to know which one is better direct or indirect ophthalmoscopy for screening direct ophthalmoscopy is better um, for better vision okay yes this is okay got he he showed a thumbs up okay right so why do we choose uh, direct that's what i said for better vision like uh, i may not be the right person to answer this this is basically the question of expert ophthalmologist but this is for better uh, better views of the uh, vessels of the eye where exactly the defect is Oh okay.